Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 13. Lucky number 13. And we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. The extra long title. Sorry, no, the Sith Lords. <laughs> we're on like part 10 of our way through the Purgatory Mine. Sorry, Paragus Mining Station. Um, yeah. Even though it's been a short week. You ever have one of those holiday weeks where you had Monday off because Monday was a holiday. But somehow, by the time Friday comes around, you feel like you just had the longest doggone week. And it was a short week. It was a light week. It really wasn't that bad, all things considered. But anyway, here we are. Back for another run of uh, episodes of Knights of the Old Republic 2. And we had... Uh, let me pull up the map here real quick. So, uh, I, I keep forgetting the mouse doesn't show up on the on the stream, even though I keep checking show mouse. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, if you look down at the bottom where the orange dot is instead of the blue dot, that is where we came in at the airlock. And we made our way north through all that around the U. And we went over to this orange dot, where it says Map Note Cafeteria, the one that I just selected. And we did a little bit of exploring there. We didn't go to the blue dot just to the south of that, because that leaves the areas. We wanted to find the data pad here in the cafeteria before, if you look just north of the shift assignment console that I selected there, uh, into the dormitories because we wanted to get the note that says that there's a hidden stash of stuff and the only way to get that note of the hidden of you know the hidden stash of stuff is to loot the cafeteria so you know if you go through the normal course of events you would have gone through all that stuff over there only to find there's a hidden thing that you can't find unless you've already found the note so there that is that's why we went to the cafeteria, and now we're going to do the dormitories. We're going to start with the dormitories on the left, because we can. Uh, we're going to explore them both. We're going to loot them all. And we should have turned off the poison gas that was killing everybody. So, uh, let's... Oh, hello. Let's uh, stun you, and then flurry, flurry, flurry. Z Oh, you know, I keep forgetting that stun doesn't stun them for more than one round. Or maybe that's the maybe that's when I get the the next level up for force powers. By the way, anything to loot? I like loot. No? Okay, fine. <sighs> okay, good. Uh, we did manage to vent the poisonous gas out of here. All right, so we're just gonna make a a loop starting here. Uh, from the administration officer's corpse, we're going to go back that way and then loop back around to the station. So let's start here. And let's get the mine administrator log and 10 bucks. Hey, I'll take every 10 bucks I can get. This hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader in order to play back the contents. Well, okay. Journal entry added. All right. Well, this looks like a place that we can play stuff like that. All right, so let's start with inserting the mine administrator's hollow log before I forget about that. All right, we got two logs recorded. Let's start with the access entry. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we call uh, the bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he can... Let him by. finish it first. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Mm. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. All right, so he gave us three of the five digits for the code. At least there's that. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. 
wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... Yeah, but no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Cora well. and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. So you think. I we'll catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied <laughs> into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's... Yeah, yeah, that, that's why you never mention, you know, at least the air system's still working. Alright, so, uh, th this is where all the bodies ended up the way they did. Although I noticed that the holograms are not falling the way the bodies on the floor actually fell. That's mildly disconcerting. Alright. What's the mine admin uh, mine administrator's holog? Nope. That's what we just did. Alright. What about the Transmission. transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, seventeen, seventeen, thirteen. 13. The next two numbers are blank and blank. And let's do an intelligence check. It looks like a military flash code. If the dot equals one and the dash equals ten and X is five. Hello, Roman numerals. <laughs> All right, that should have actually given us the answer so we can put it in the console. So we got that. Check the transmission. The transmission the code to open yep. Okay. That's it there, right? Okay. There we go. It's in our quest log. So thankfully, this time around, they don't make you memorize those codes. We now have it here, right here. The mining console contains... Five number flash code to unlock turbo lift. Flash code symbols are etc. 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 If the first, if the administration officer was correct, then the first three symbols stand for three, th 17, 13. That means the remaining two numbers are five and seven. So we have our five digit code, hopefully. All right, and we reach the dormitory only to find the admin officer dead. Found a partial code, yada yada. You can, all right, so that's all he's got on him. What else we got in here? I mean, I feel a little ghoulish looting corpses, but uh, he's not going to need that energy shield anymore, so we'll just go ahead and relieve him of that. And sadly, a non-lootable footlocker. How sad is that? He's got something, though. He likes sharing. Some chemicals. Yeah, a lot of people have been floating around this place with uh, chemicals on them. Is it coffee? I could use a coffee. I've got a soda. I ran out of time to make coffee. All right, let's try the security option first, because that's our higher score. Hey, there we go. Let's get a repair kit. Nice. All right, that's all the lootable stuff there. Let's, uh, oh, come on. We're, we're, we're glitching out on the door. There we go. Uh, that body's got nothing. He's got something, though. What's he got? A Mandalorian melee shield and a repair kit. All right, I mean, I don't have any droids yet. But I'm sure I'll need the repair kits when I do. And what's our medical officer have? Okay, the medical officer has some chemicals and a med pack. I, I kind of get that. That makes a little more sense. And that's all we got in there. And we've got a door that has the jitters. And it looks like our only option is to mine it. Uh, skill too low, you say? Ah, uh, alright. Let's uh, force Valor. That gives us an instant bump. And let's use one of our minor sonic mines. Hey, look at that. Doors open. Good thing we recovered all those mines, huh? Alright, just the footlocker? Looks like just the footlocker. And 59 bucks and another 28 bucks. I still never got a good answer for why those were separated. Like, is one of them loose change and the other bills? Because I don't remember it working that way in any of the movies or anything. Everybody just kind of hand wavy credits. Unless it was a Jedi talking, then he literally hand-waved, You don't need to see my credits. I've already paid you. <laughs> what 
do you think you are? Some kind of Jedi? Waving your hands in front of me? Sorry. I should never invoke that movie. And did I not get a medical officer's log? Nope. Okay. Alright, so that is the West Dorm. Let's uh, start our way to the East Dorm. And I realize I forgot to stop the start the, alarm, the stopwatch again to make sure that I insert the cuts for the episodes at the right time. Alright, uh, I'll get to that one. Alright, let's do this. Let's, uh... Yeah! Flurry of misses. Zap him. And finish him. There we go. Anything there? No? Okay. Let's open the door. Alright, same basic idea. We're going to take the long way around. No body to loot there. Let's, uh, let's try to repair. Oh, no. That, that's just uh, scavenging parts. All right. That's it. There's nothing else to get there. So sorry. All right. Let's uh, security our way into this. And, ooh. We get a real blaster for a change. Is that blaster... Upgradable. Oh, it is fully upgradable. Okay. So that means that we can put a, an upgraded firing chamber, targeting scope, and power cell in this blaster. Next time we hit a bench, we might um, we might want to take everything out of the advanced mining laser. Or what was it? I don't know. One of these guys, one of these guys we had upgraded. That's an actual weapon? Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe it was the field survival. Yeah, the field survival pistol. Uh, what's the difference in the stats? Cuz we did upgrade that one. 1 to 8, 1 to 4. Okay. You know, that, that's worth looking to upgrade at the next uh, workstation we run across. Not going to worry about it right now because there's nobody nobody really using it. But that's, uh, that's good to know. I feel like we're missing something. We should be getting... All right, well, I mean, yes, we're going to get the corpse. With some components, a battle stem, and 200 and... 30 some odd credits and we'll take all that there we go that's what I was looking for the mine foreman log and the refresher <laughs> this hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader in order to play back the contents okay alright so we looted the body we looted the refresher I mean did some, I, I, I hope they're implying that somebody threw their hollow pad down the sink. I hope that's a sink. We'll, we'll call that a sink. We'll pretend like that's a sink. And... No, oh, no, we're not there yet. Let's uh, unlock this one. Get us another energy shield. <laughs> We are accumulating a fair number of energy shields. I think after uh, after we hit a certain number, Ooh, and the dock officer. All right, so we got the dock officer's log. There we go. So we got two more hollow logs that we need to. Uh, no, miscellaneous. Is that what you're under? Data pads. There we go. So we get the dock officer's log and the mine foreman's log that we need to uh, look into whenever we get a chance. And... Ooh, another melee shield. Yeah, we're going to have to break these down for components at the next opportunity. Or once we know that we got enough to manage for a while. Oh, hello. Let's, uh... I know we're going to need to give ourselves the intelligence bump. And let's move out of the way of the explosion. 
There we go. Now, that hidden compartment, that would not be there if you did not find the data pad. So in other words, it, no matter how high your awareness or whatever, no matter how high any of your skills are, you cannot find that hidden component or hidden compartment until you get the data pad from the mess hall. All right, my guy's stretching. That means I'm yakking too long. And so that gives us a, a med pack, a frag, ooh, some frag grenades, some real grenades, <laughs> and a blaster pistol, and an ion grenade, always nice. And in the foot locker, we'll get um, some ooh, detonator gloves. What do the detonator gloves get us? All right, uh, I really hate that <laughs> they do this. Uh, they keep flashing at you. All right. So that gives us damage immunity versus fire, or 25% versus fire, 10% versus slashing. We get a plus two to our fortitude save and a plus three to our demolitions. What gloves do we have right now? All right, so we got the insulated gloves, and the big reason why we got that was the 30% versus cold, since uh, the fire suppression gear was coming at us, and 20% uh, versus fire. All right, so we get a little bit more versus fire. We get something versus slashing and a fort save. Since uh, we don't seem to need to worry about the cold anytime soon, let's go ahead and put the detonator gloves on because uh, we do still seem to be working with the demolition skill and that plus three ought to bump us over the skill gap for the time being. So we've got the detonator gloves equipped. All right, that's everything here. That's everything here. All right. And have we been through here? No, doesn't look like there's anything here anyway. And, oh, there we go. Let's get some med packs and repair kits. Well, a med pack and a repair kit. <laughs> And we can't do anything with that log, so let's run back to the other computer. Let's check those other two logs before we go any further. Because I seem to recall that they are going to be useful. Let's uh, dash over here real quick. Let's use the log terminal. And let's get the mine foreman hollow log. This is the one that was uh, flushed in the refresher. <laughs> and let's start with the first one. Uh, it's been two days since the Birkin Jedi come to facility. Work efficiency is down and fuel is backing up in vents waiting for processing. The, flight, uh, the fight incre frequency increases. Korda and his crew think we should take the Jedi, then split the many credits by selling Jedi to exchange. Tried to convince to join them. I want nothing to do with exchange. They're like a big, violent family that does terrible things to outsiders who deal with them. But Korda does not care. In my mind, it's better letting a Jedi go wherever a Jedi wants to go. When Jedi get mad, they start big wars, set galaxy on fire. Hey. Okay. Let's try this next one. I had a careful, inoffensive talk with Korda and asked him not to make trouble with the Jedi. I reminded him we were ordered to leave Jedi alone and we should follow orders or facility fall apart. My words had much sense, but Korda got ang all angry in human face, then said the facility is going to fall apart anyway. After talk, I listened to him make the maintenance officer on the comm. Uh, uh, sorry, running, reading slower. Okay. You going to talk to the admin officer. What's this last one? I heard last comm talk from corridor to maintenance officer. Maintenance officer said he had a big plan for a disabling station, leaving us all trapped here while he and Korda escaped with the Jedi. Uh, I'm still afraid of Korda, who is big, loud, and reasonable, so I went to the maintenance officer, who is smaller, more sensible, more solicitous. I asked him why he makes trouble with Korda. Then maintenance officer crack eyebrow at me, pretend not to know what talking about, says he not speak to Korda at all. Why the human lie? I can't wait any longer. I must... Oh. 
Come on. If the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are going to be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Well then. That answers that one. And the dock officer was the last one we were missing. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. <laughs> We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going <laughs> to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. All right, and next. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection uh -huh. to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Okay, so that tells us that we're extra thankful that a ship docked, because that is our only way out. Managed to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, mm. the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission if on If you had luck, playback. you'd be talking to me right We're now. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? <laughs> well, that was the distress transmission, so let's go back. Wait, was that the last one? Managed to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short. We've set the emergency transmitter okay. without. Okay, yep. <sighs> After all. Okay, that's it. And so that's everybody's log. Let's log out. We got... Wait, what did we lose? Oh, the the logs. Right, what, are, what are you getting all... Why are you flashing at me? Okay. Never mind. I'm not even going to bother checking. Alright, so that is pretty much it for everything in the dormitories. Now, let's head. Yeah, okay. I thought we had looted all that, and we looted all that. We got everything out of here. If there was anything I wanted to build, this would be the time to do it for now. Alright, so it's just uh, through this door. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and insert a cut. So if you're watching live, give me just a second. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And 
there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.